change this light now. Alright, so just a little eighth of a turn on the halogen. Pull it out. Disconnect the bulb. Pull up or press disconnect. Press, okay. Oh, I can't get this done without the bulb touching it. There we go. This bulb's out. I'm going to put one of these in. This guy's got a lot more additional hardware. Yeah. Sink. I guess this is a ballast. So it goes in the exact same way. Fraction of a turn. You're supposed to expand this heat sink, at least some, so that the heat that's pulled in by one of the coils isn't absorbed by another one. Otherwise, it defeats the purpose of having a heat sink. And then we just need to connect this. And I'm going to probably tidy up the wiring with some Velcro. But that right there is technically enough to have light work. So now we're going to move yeah. over to the other side. We're going to pop this off. I already pulled off the C clip, the pop clip, whatever we call it. And then we're going to come in from here. I'm going to rotate this out again, same as the other one. I'm going to pull out the halogen. Press and I pull it out. So this halogen's out. Drop it in this box. Put our other OLM in. Make sure you take this piece of paper off because this piece of paper is not a heat sink. It'll either melt or get caught on something else in the vehicle. Yeah. We don't want that. And uh, I think you, if you've already read your box, you know not to touch the LEDs because the oils from your skin on the LEDs will burn off and uh, potentially ruin the LED. So again, we're going to spread out this heat sink. So we get a little bit of heat dissipation for the LED. And we just connect the wiring. And in theory, we should be good. So I'm going to tidy up this with some Velcro. And then we'll add that in after I figure out exactly what I'm going to do. And then uh, in a second, we'll start the car and we'll see what the uh, daytime run lights look like. Alright, let's get everything out of the engine bay. We don't want anything falling in. 